one of the, the barriers often is people don't know where to start. Um, you start talking about a low carbon economy. It seems a very big um, problem, a, a, a huge challenge, and, and often people don't know where to start. So in a way, it, that's one of the barriers. I think one of the opportunities is actually helping people understand where they can make the biggest impact and then giving them very simple, very meaningful, but actionable steps that they can actually take to do it. And if you do that, uh, you know, both with businesses, but also with consumers, then they're, then they're pleased to be able to take action and they will take action. 10 years ago, we looked at the whole energy profile of P&G. Um, all of the products that we make over all of the life cycle stages to look at where the energy um, impact comes. And what we found was absolutely striking. The, by far the biggest impact for the whole of our product portfolio was the fact that people use hot water to wash their clothes in their homes. The path was clear. What we needed was to use innovation to develop a product that would allow people to wash at low temperature. And then the program to actually convince them that it works and to get them to change their behavior. And that's what we've done. I mean, here in North America, we have tired cold water. In Europe, we have a, a product called Aerial XL Gel. Um, works in cold water, 15 degrees. Huge savings in terms of CO2. Very simple message to the consumer. Very simple advertising um, that this product will wash your clothes. It will give you superior performance. It's good value and it's good for sustainability. And if you offer them that, with no trade-offs, so they get the, the performance and the value and sustainability, they're more than happy to take the simple step to make the change. P&G has a, a history as a very ethically driven company. We've just come out with a, a new, uh, what, we, what our CEO calls a purpose-inspired growth strategy. At the moment, there are six and a half billion people on the planet. We reckon we reach four billion consumers at the moment. We've set a target that we're going to reach an extra billion consumers in the next five years. Now that's a huge um, target. Uh, and and the, the strategy is we want to improve more consumers' lives in more parts of the world more completely. And if we're going to be able to do that, we've got to do it sustainably. That's enough to get me out of bed every morning.